Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bawne. So today I did one experiment with MPU6050 gyroscope accelerometer sensor. So here we are using the MPU6050 with ESP32 board and monitoring the data over the Blink IoT platform. So now what is the use of this project? So you can use this project for detecting the fall or for detecting the vibration of particular body. So MPU6050 can give you the acceleration and the rotation data. So now let's get started. So I have logged into my Blink IoT platform. Now you need to create a template. So I have created the template. So the name of this template is MPU6050 with ESP32. So now for creating template, for creating data stream, for creating the web dashboard and the mobile dashboard, you need to watch my previous video. So I have explained step by step how to create everything. So here you can see I have created the data stream for monitoring the acceleration on x-axis, rotation on x-axis and the temperature. This MPU6050 has built-in temperature sensor and also we are monitoring the acceleration on y and the rotation on y. So I have not added here acceleration on z-axis, rotation on z-axis. So this is just an example to show you that how we can able to monitor the data. Now go to the web dashboard. So here you can see I have created the web dashboard by using the gauge. So you need to edit it. If you want to add more gauges, then click on here and you can able to add the gauge. So this is how I have added the gauges. So now we will configure the mobile dashboard. So on the screen you can see the template is there MPU6050 with ESP32. Let's click on that. Now click on setup dashboard. Click on three icons. Let's add the gauges. Click on gauge. Click on that gauge and select the title here. Acceleration Y. Select data stream as acceleration Y. Once again add the widget. Click on gauge. Click on that gauge and select the title. Acceleration x select data stream acceleration on x axis and select the color once again add gauge click on gauge click on that gauge and right here rotation on x axis select data stream as rotation x choose the color Go back, once again add gauge, click on that and right here rotation on y axis, select data stream, rotation y, select color, go back and, and last add the gauge for temperature sensor. Let's click on that, right here temperature, select data stream as a temperature. Select the color, go back. So we have successfully added all the gauges. Now we will see the circuit diagram and the most important part that is Arduino coding. What I have done inside the Arduino coding and what are the libraries that you need to install for this particular sensor. So now you can see the circuit diagram in front of you. This is very simple circuit diagram. MPU6050 has 8 pins. So here, the pins that we need, VCC, ground, SCL and SDA, only 4 pins that we need. So here you can see, so VCC is connected to the 3v3 pin of the ESP32 board, ground is connected to the ground pin of ESP32 board, SCL is connected to the pin number 22 of the ESP32 board and SDA is connected to the pin number 21 of the ESP32 board. So this is the simple circuit diagram that you can do. So I have created this circuit diagram using the EasyEDA platform. Now you don't need to do anything here. You just need to modify few lines of code. Now let's see what are the libraries that we need for getting the readings from the MPU6050. Go to sketch. Go to include library. Click on manage library. Now search for adapt fruit MPU6050. So this is the library by Adafruit, we need to install this, let's click on install. 
So we have successfully installed the Adafruit MP6050. Now we need to install two more libraries. Let's see what are those library. We need to search for Adafruit Unified Sensor Library. So you can see we need to install this library as well. That is Adafruit Unified Sensor Library, and this library is already installed. Now we need to install one more library. Let's see what is that. So search for Adafruit Bus IO. So here we need to install the Adafruit Bus IO library, which is already installed. So these are the three libraries that you need to install. So the first one is Adafruit MPU 6050. Second one is Adafruit Unified Sensor Library, and the third one is Adafruit Bus Library. Now for writing the code for MPU 6050, just go to File, just go to Examples, and select Adafruit MPU 6050, and click on Basic Readings. So here is the code for getting the basic readings from the MPU 6050. So now in this code you can see you are getting acceleration x, acceleration y, acceleration z. So you are getting acceleration on x, y, z axis, and also you are getting the rotation of x axis, y axis, and z axis, and also you are getting the temperature. So now we wanted to send this value on the Blink IoT platform. Now how we can do that? So here what I have done, I have just added few lines of code inside the example code itself. Now, what are those lines of code I have added? So here you can see I have added all this. So you will get this Blink template ID, device name, and the authorization token from your Blink IoT platform. So go to the Blink IoT console, and here go to device. So this is the device. Here you can see inside the device info, you can get template ID, device name, and the authorization token. So copy this, and go to your Arduino code, and paste it here. So inside the void setup, you just need to copy these two lines of code. That is blink dot begin and the timer dot set interval. Now here, inside this function that is send sensor, what I have done? Let's see. So here I have added few variables for storing the acceleration, rotation, and the temperature data. So here I have declared acceleration on x axis variable is equal to a dot acceleration dot x. So from where I got this? So here you can see. Serial dot print a dot acceleration dot x. So just copy this and paste it here. So we are storing the acceleration on x axis value inside this variable that is acceleration x. This is very simple. Now just do the same thing for acceleration on y axis. So you can see for getting the acceleration on y axis, here you can see a dot acceleration dot y. So just paste here. Now for getting the rotation on x axis. This, so this is the variable declared for getting the rotation on x axis so here you can see g dot gyro dot x just copy this and paste it here so you are getting the rotation on x axis so same thing the variable declared that is rotation y which is for rotation on y axis just copy the data from here that g dot gyro dot y and paste it here for getting the rotation on y axis So the now the variable temperature is defined for getting the temperature. So here you can see. So for getting the temperature from the MPU six zero five zero, the value is inside the temp dot temperature. So just copy this and store your value inside the variable called temperature. So we have defined these variables for storing the values. So this is very simple. Now what we need to do? Now we need to send these values to virtual pins that were defined inside the data stream. So here you can see, I have write blink dot virtual write v zero acceleration x. So we are using v zero virtual pin for storing the value of acceleration on the x axis. So let's go to the template and select the template and go to data stream. So here you can see I have defined v zero pin for acceleration on x axis. So go to your Arduino code. So we are writing the virtual pin v zero with acceleration on x axis values. So V1 virtual pin is used for rotation on x-axis. So virtual pin V2 shows you the temperature, and the virtual pin V4 shows you the acceleration on y-axis, and virtual pin V5 shows you the rotation on y-axis. So this is how you need to modify the code. And inside the void loop, this is the same blink dot run and timer dot run. If you know the fundamentals, then you can modify any type of code. It's very simple. You just need to know the fundamentals of Arduino coding. So I have already uploaded the code. Now we will see the output on the screen. 
now let's go to the devices click on search and here you can see your device is online as you can see on the screen the temperature reading is 20 degrees celsius now the mpu6050 is in rest position now what i'll do i'll just rotate it now you can see the values on the screen acceleration on y acceleration on x and the rotation so you can see the values on rotating so whenever i keep it as rest so whenever i keep it on rest the values are zero so here you can see the values on the screen so you can able to see the same values on the mobile app as well you can see the rotation x acceleration x acceleration y so this is how you can interface the mpu6050 with the esp32 board and monitor the data over the blink iot platform so if you haven't understood anything just let me know inside the comment section i just did this experiment to see that whether i can able to monitor the acceleration and the rotation data over the cloud or not so you can use this project for detecting the fall and for monitoring the vibration of particular body so if you found this video useful then do subscribe the channel and like the video thanks for watching